Hey everybody, Anthony Dodge, the model train outsider, the American outsider here. and going to talk a little bit about some 3D printing I just did. Now, anybody who follows this channel may know that a few weeks ago, I bought a new 3D printer. I bought a Mingdom Magician Pro. I have a 3D printer prior to that one, my Creality Ender 5 Pro, but whenever I've tried to print buildings, I've had problems, even with a containment unit that tries to keep wind from blowing through and cooling the plastic inconsistently. I have what is called warping, and I'll try to demonstrate it here, but if I hold this building up for you, you can see how the ends here, the corner here, curls a bit. If I can get this to focus, come on, focus. You can see, sometimes it's very subtle, but like this entire wall, you can see it prints curled up, it's warping. And that's from uh, usually caused by the plastic drying inconsistently. And I've done all the different tricks and advisement. I've messed with different temperatures of the print bed, I use print bed glue, adhesive. Uh, I've done it without the bed heated, because some people say, oh, with filament, you don't need a heated bed. Um, and I've done it at various levels, and it just consistently has been a problem. Now, that particular printer has a bed that you have to level, and it's just possible that no matter how hard I get the level out, because there are literally six different places you have to level it, and then there are four areas you have to adjust, and I just never could do it. So my Mingda is a self-leveling bed. Well, let's look at my prints, and you be the judge as to whether there's an improvement. All right, so here's a couple of old prints from my Creality 5 Pro. And if you look down here, you can just see how the bottom warps. And sometimes it's very noticeable, and these are not the worst cases, but these are actually some of my better prints where it wasn't bad enough that a little sanding down probably could hide that. And this one was sanded down a bit, but you can see a little warping there. So now let's look at my two newest prints. Now these are buildings I designed on Tinkercad and they're actually based on actual structures in the city of Delmenhorst, this little row of shops that all have the same basic print. That's why I have this window etched in because some of them it's a two window, some of them it's a three window. And then depending on how I design it, I can either cut that out or just fill it in. Sometimes there's a sign up there. Uh, but these are little shops. But if you look down here, there's absolutely no warping on any of the sides. This building has come out very, very correct. There is absolutely no warping. Now this one, even though it's the same basic building, was designed differently. It was designed with a removable roof. This one is all one piece. This one I designed with a removable roof. Now there is a bit of a gap issue, but sanding down will fit that. And yes, there's some stringing. They all need cleaned up. Um, I'm using a decent uh, quality filament. But anyhow, just all the way around, a much smoother print, especially for one I was designed, where this was designed by pros, and this was designed by me. And... Uh, so this will really go a long way in helping me build uh, the city of Delmenhorst uh, because there are several buildings like this down uh, the train station street. So I can really create actual buildings of Delmenhorst. So I'm ecstatic that even though this is a very simplistic design, there's no warping. These just came out the best I've ever had any prints come out because... Even here is an old print. This is supposed to be for a market. And you can just see the warping along the bottom. And again, there are many different things that cause it. Usually it's temperature variance, the bed temperature cooling too quickly. But old prints, even though much nicer designed buildings and the tops come out beautifully, I always get that warping on the bottom. These, no warping on the bottom. 
I'm going to call it a win. All right, so there it is. You see that uh, my very first building design and print, simplistic though it was, no warping at all. So that self-leveling bed is a difference maker for me. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And uh, so maybe I can start getting into some real 3D printing um, and maybe tweak some designs. So until then, I will say I'll be the Zane Choose and happy trains. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.